this is our first open house. It feels nice. It does feel good because it's even, you know, you go to the park. Well, the reason why you can walk through is because the grass is mowed. And you pop two seeds in here and you cover it with some dirt. Walking downtown, you sit on a bench and there's a gorgeous pot filled with flowers. It's just nice getting recognized for that stuff. I know I've been in here once, I think, for an ask a water question or something. So that's as far as I've gotten. So now I want to see the rest of the place. <laughs> Follow the red arrows. We just kind of all volunteered for it, really. Most of the crew, it's usually the fire and the cops that get the recognitions and we're kind of unknown. People really don't know what Public Works does. I think it's really nice where they can put a face to who does the job every day, who plows the snow, who trims their trees, who takes care of their water. I think it's great for them to put a face with what gets done for them. I didn't know uh, there was this many, this much equipment. It's really good. It's good to see. Kids get an opportunity to run a piece of equipment. A little smaller scale than uh, you know what we have parked out front, but still fun to play with. And the sewer department's not always the one people can see either. We're not the street or the parks, so. Yeah. But everybody has to flush the toilets. Happy that they keep working. If a police officer can't make it to a scene or anything like that, that's our response to make sure that they're able to get there safely and on the correct amount of time, you know, to get there and to keep their cars reliable so they can run. Oh, yeah. I mean, these are oil filled, everything's they're pretty simple to work on. If it weren't for public works, I mean you wouldn't move to or through our community. So we want the community to understand they don't cut corners. Like they do this because they love serving uh, their community and they take a lot of pride in their work. <laughs>